Welcome to Teach Me Maths. My name is Jonathan Hicks and we're doing percentages. Now a percentage, in order to understand percentages, you need to understand fractions first. A percentage is a fraction. In fact, by definition, a percentage is simply a fraction out of 100. So if you've got 50%, for example, that's defined to be 50 over 100 as a fraction. It's 50 hundredths. And if we were to cancel this fraction down, obviously you can divide the top and bottom by 10 or just cross the zeros off. And then 5 tenths would cancel down to a half. So, I mean, you probably realized already that 50% is a half, but that's why it's a half. It's because any percentage by definition is a fraction out of 100. And then you can cancel it down to find out what the actual fraction is. It's a bit like if you had a, a giant pizza or something and you attempted to divide it into a hundred slices, they would be very small slices indeed. But the point is that each one of these slices will be 1%. So 50% would be 50 slices out of a hundred. It's 50 hundredths, if you like. So, if we just get rid of that. Just try to show you with a different percentage. If you had 15%, then again, by definition, that's 15 out of 100. It's 15 hundredths. And then you just cancel the fraction down. You must always cancel fractions. So 15 and 100 are both divisible by 5. 5's into 15 go 3 times. And 5's into 100 go 20 times. So 15% is the same as 3 twentieths. But the point is that any percentage is simply a fraction. It's just another way of writing a fraction. And in general, it's always the fraction out of 100. So 15% is 15 out of 100. So if you know how to deal with fractions, and for example, finding fractions of amounts, then it's very easy to, do with, uh, to deal with percentages as well. Finding percentages of amounts is actually exactly the same as finding fractions of amounts, because percentages are fractions. That's the one thing you've got to get straight in your head here. All right, so I'll try a couple of examples. Imagine we need to find 25% of 200 pounds, let's say. So remember, whenever you see of, that always means times. And 25%, as I say, by definition, is a fraction out of 100. So that's going to be 25 over 100 times of, and then the 200 pounds that we need to find the percentage of. Now, if you remember from the finding fractions of amounts or multiplying fractions by whole numbers, you can do the division first if you want to. So 200 divided by 100, that just gives you 2. Another way you could look at that is you cancel that 0 with that 0, and that 0 with that 0. This 200 is effectively multiplying on the top, so you can think of this as being on the top of the fraction, which is why I'm allowed to cancel these zeros, because those are on the top and those are on the bottom. So 200 divided by 100 just gives you 2, times that by the 25, 2 lots of 25 gives you 50. So 25% of 200 pounds will be 50 pounds. All right, uh, I'll just try one more example, but essentially you're not doing anything different here than when you're finding fractions of amounts. Just convert the percentage into a fraction over 100 and then times if you're finding the fraction of something, or the percentage of something. All right, let's try 16%. We'll try a harder one this time of 750 pounds. So again, convert this percentage into a fraction out of 100. Of means times in maths. And we're going to times, in this case, by 750. Now, there's various ways you could do this. With any fraction, you can always cancel it down. And I think that might be the easiest way to approach this in this case. Doing 16 times 750 is not going to be that easy. Uh, and dividing by 100, well, you can cancel one of the zeros, but then you've still got 75 over 10. You're not going to get a whole number. It gets a little bit tricky. I'm going to cancel this fraction down first and just see what we get. So 16 over 100, well, I can halve the top and the bottom because they're both even. That would give me 8 over 50. And in fact, I could then do it again. I'll get 4 over 25. So 16 over 100 cancels down to 4 over 25. Effectively, we've divided the top and the bottom by 4. Yeah, 4's into 16 go 4 times, 
bores into 100 go 25 times. 25 bores or 100. And that's still going to be times by the 750 here. And this is looking a bit more promising because 25 divides into 75. So I could use that. So, well, if 25s go into 75 three times, then 25s into 750 will go 30 times. Yep, there's an extra zero on the end, so I make my answer 10 times bigger. So it's not three, it's going to be 30. So it's going to be four times 30. And four times 30 is 120. Yep, four threes are 12, stick an extra zero on the end. We were finding 16% of 750 pounds, so it's going to be 120 pounds is your final answer. So the arithmetic was a little bit more complicated there, but the principle is exactly the same. Whenever you're finding the percentage of an amount, of always means times, convert the percentage into a fraction over 100, and then just do the arithmetic. My name is Jonathan Hicks, and you're watching Teach Me Maths.